Welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is May 22nd, and that means day 142 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, we printed out this very cool little calibration cat, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 142 of the 3DP 365 project. As always, down in the description, there's a facts section. There's also a Matter Hackers affiliate link. If you're in the market for some new filament, just use that Matter Hackers affiliate link and you'll really help out the channel. Today's episode's all about this cool little calibration cat I printed out. And I've been at the Bay Area Maker Fair for the last couple of days, so the printer has been sitting idle. And normally I would just run out a quick benchy. But I remembered seeing this really cool calibration cat up on Thingiverse and I thought let's try and print this out and see how it turns out because it's got some really cool overhangs. It's got some very distinct uh, areas of the print. There's a 45 degree angle on his tail and there's some there's some really cool detail on the face plus everything's pre-measured out so it has to actually measure out at the end and meet the requirements for your printer to be in perfect tune which is really what a calibration object's for. And our little cat turned out perfect. There is not one little problem I can find with this little guy. And it only took about 45 minutes to print, and we used Matter Hackers Pro PLA in the color of burgundy on our GMAX 1.5 XT Plus. And we downloaded this, like I said, from Thingiverse, and then we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, I used a 0.2 millimeter layer height with three top layers, three bottom layers, and three perimeters. Also, I used a 20% infill because that was suggested by the designer to use on this little model. We ran this out at only 35 millimeters per second because I wanted to give my GMAX an honest try at this little calibration cat. And the results are awesome. And I I've already done all the measuring and everything looks really good. And I'll show you in the close-ups with the ruler on there that everything printed out perfectly. But you can tell right away from seeing that little bit of a close-up there that everything about this print is perfect. Even though my GMAX has been sitting completely idle for four days, no printing going on whatsoever, I didn't do anything but just load up some filament, put in the SD card with the model on it, and hit print. And this is the final result, and I'm so happy with the results. And I really love my GMAX because even after four days of sitting idle, it's still dialed in perfectly. Well, that about wraps it up for day 142 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.